So tin foil, and bear with me on this one. When you've got a radiator installed in your property, that is designed to emit heat into the room. But what also can happen is heat can get dragged into the wall behind the radiator. Installing some tin foil on the wall just behind the radiator will reflect that heat back into the room, giving you the maximum benefit. All you need is some tin foil and some children's glue, although you can buy specially designed products that are self-adhesive and cut to size just behind the radiators. I've done it wrong. It's supposed to be behind the radiator. So heating a room that you don't use regularly is a massive waste of money. You can combat this with two easy steps. The first one is simply turn the radiator off or down if you've got a thermostatic radiator valve. And the other is close the door. This stops warm air from the house being soaked into this room and wasting money. So closing a door, not as easy as it sounds. Trapping your fingers in a door can stay with you for a lifetime. First things first, gloves on, hat on, clear space. Reach for the handle, keeping the other hand out of the way. Press the handle down, move the body, close the door, hand away. So having drafty doors and drafty windows is another major source of heat loss in the home. You can combat this for not a lot of money. First things first, you can buy draft excluders for doors and draft excluders for windows. Another common offender is your letterbox. If you haven't got a brushed letterbox, then you're going to be letting a lot of heat out and a lot of drafts in through that tiny little hole in your front door. You can pick these up for around £10. So there's plenty of guides you can find online demonstrating how to install a letterbox brush onto your front door. We got our brush from a local garden centre for £10 and as you can see, it took five minutes to install, eliminating any drafts coming from this door. Another great way to make sure that you aren't wasting money heating your home is to ensure that all your radiators are bled of air. Radiators work by heating up the water inside the radiator. If there's air in that radiator as well, that reduces the output from the radiator, meaning you have to have the heating on for longer. You can buy a radiator key like this for about a pound from any DIY store, and all you need is a little bit of tissue. It takes two seconds to bleed a radiator. So the temperature you set your thermostat to has a massive effect on how much you spend on your gas bill. Adjusting your thermostat down by one degree will save you around £75 a year. Drop it down two degrees, you do the maths. You can also make even more savings by investing in something like a Nest Generation 3 self-learning thermostat. Installing one of these will save you an additional 10 to 15 pounds a month on your gas bill and it does this by simply not allowing the heat to be on when you're not in the home. If you've got a traditional programmer and you set the schedule the same every day but your routine changes, there's a good chance that your heating is on while you're out of the home. Something like a Nest Generation 3 will stop that from happening. Look, this has been a disaster. All these home hacks and crafty pandas, you're gonna get yourself into a tiz. If you wanna save some money, go to heatable.co.uk and get yourself a new boiler. You can save up to 350 pounds a year on your gas bill. You can have it installed tomorrow and you can get interest-free credit. You don't need anything else. A glass of wine, maybe.